really, really good to season your rice. Let's try this. Three. So, so, so good. Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss May on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos, Trader Joe's Costco haul videos, food review videos, unboxing review videos, study videos, and all the lifestyle content. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out any future content. And this video is a good old Trader Joe's haul and it's also part two of the video of the last Trader Joe's haul because guys, I couldn't resist, I didn't go to Trader Joe's for two weeks, three weeks, and then I just found so many new items and I just went on a shopping spree and the video was getting too long. So we're in a part two of the video. So thank you so much for subscribe and coming back to the second half of the video. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. A almond butter filled pretzel nuggets from Trader Joe's. I like pretzels. I like those like carbs, crackers and things like that, but when you eat carbs on its own, like your body just absorbs it really quickly. And usually, personally, for me, I have a super, super high glucose spike. Sometimes it could spike up to 270, 268, 254, which is really crazy. I know my body bring it down, I'm not diabetic or anything, but some people are just not really good with the spikes and I'm one of them. So. I try to eat my carbs with fat or protein so the fat content in the snacks would just slow down my absorption of the carbs so the spike is a little bit slower and it doesn't go as high so almond butter filled pretzels I used to love the peanut butter filled pretzels but, but personally I feel like I've had too much peanut butter in the past I'm a little bit tired of it this item fills me up like I can't finish the whole bag. If I eat a little bit and then drink water, it really just fills me up because of the fat content, the protein content, the fiber, and the carbs. So I think it's also good for my portion. Open ones, so I really, really like them. So it just looks like the normal peanut butter pretzel, but instead of peanut butter, it's actually almond butter. And this is what the product looks like. Yeah. It is so, so, so good so good it's crunchy it's creamy it's salty it's sweet mm. my life is good all right so the next two items are nuts the first one is trader joe's nuts dry roasted unsalted hazelnut i think they have the raw hazelnut and also the um dry roasted hazelnut i like the fact that it's unsalted because sometimes when i eat nuts it's too salty and I don't necessarily like too much salt to be honest and I also got a Trader Joe's Thai lime and chili cashews Ta -da! okay I love cashews I'm a little bit I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna like this lime and chili flavor I was gonna see if they have like a smaller packs but they don't so this one I think it's like eight dollars which is like kind of expensive but cashews are usually pretty expensive so it's actually really good pricing I know talking to myself okay so let's try this flavor let's see if it tastes good it's a resealable package so I feel pretty good trying it out on camera this is what it looks like it has the green powder which I think is the lime flavor a little bit of green chili so let's try this hmm I definitely taste the chili it's a little bit on the saltier side Come here, I want you to try this. Did you already eat it? Yeah. I don't know if I like it. The lime flavor kind of tastes artificial. Do you like it? I don't taste enough chili. I taste the chili. The aftertaste is actually quite spicy. I think they're pretty good. The lime is good. The lime is good. You like the lime flavor? Mm -hmm. Doesn't it taste a oh, little I bit? Oh, I taste the heat now. Yeah, like the aftertaste. There's yeah, you gotta eat a lot of them. Yeah, but like for the lime, like... Do you like the lime flavor? Yeah, it's good. I don't know, it kind of tastes... It's got some good heat in it. I yeah, like it. I like the chili flavor, but the lime... Chili and lime goes together. I don't know. The lime powder is like... So I approve. Do you think it tastes natural like with the lime flavor? Well, it's not natural. It's not like I put that on top of cashews, but... Yeah, it's good. On a scale of 1 to 10? 
Probably go like a 7.5. 7.5? Mm -hmm. It's good. Like, I'd eat these. I like, I, bet I like it better than plain. I think have more flavor. But I think I'd like a ranch flavor better. I, I think ranch flavor is a little bit better than this. For some reason, the lime flavor just doesn't register with me. I like the chili flavor, but the lime... There could be more lime, but I think it tastes good. Really? Mm -hmm. It just needs more lime, but it's pretty good, really. It's interesting. I think, I think the chili one is good, but the lime flavor, it kind of tastes like artificial flavor. No. Let's see. Trader Joe's doesn't use artificial anything. Oh, okay. So let's see the ingredient list. Ingredient list contains cashews, Thai lime leaves. Oh, the lime is from the real Thai lime leaves. Probably different from the lime here. So that's why. So I'm more used to like having the lime juice, but not necessarily the lime leaves. This is different. And we also have Tom Yum seasoning, which is a Thai flavor, rice spring oil. Oh, interesting. Chili powder, white pepper, lemon flavor, paprika. Oh, okay. Lemongrass. I definitely taste the lemongrass. So I do want to say that if you prefer natural nuts, this may not be the one for you. I love cashews on its own. So to me, the flavor, it kind of takes away the actual natural cashew flavor, but my husband actually likes this one. I feel like I'm just not used to the thyme lime leaves because I was expecting the actual lime juice flavor. It's quite similar, but a little bit different. And the tom yum seasoning, I like it on my Thai food, but I've never had it on my nuts. So it's definitely innovative. Try this out and let me know if you like it. I felt like this is one of the items that some people are gonna swear by this and some people will be like, mm, the flavor is a little bit new and weird, but we will see a comment down below how you think of this item. Jerkies, this is Trader Joe's natural turkey jerky, natural smoke flavoring added, original flavor. I love the Trader Joe's turkey jerky. One of the reasons why I love it is because, first of all, the sodium content is not too high. There's 207 milligrams of sodium, which is lower than a lot of the turkey jerky items on the market. And there is five grams of sugar per serving, which is also lower than a lot of things that I saw in Whole Foods and other grocery stores. I think a lot of other brands that have like nine grams of sugar compared to four grams, five grams of sugar. So overall, this is one of the best turkey jerky I had. I've not tried all of them, but this one is like personally to my taste the best because I like flavor, but I don't like things that are too salty or too sweet. So this, I like that two of them. Everything but the Obago nut dual almonds and cashews so if you haven't tried the trader joe's anything but the bagel seasoning it is so bomb it's perfect to make your morning avocado toast and it's really really good to season your rice to season a lot a lot of things so i i really 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 love that flavor so when i saw this item i was like i have to give it a try because i just love that everything but the bagel seasoning, I love the sesame seeds. I just love it. So, and I love almonds and kids. Today, let's try this out. So, uh, we are unboxing the snacks for my next work week because I usually bring these to work. Uh, I try to eat more nuts than like, you know, the, the carp snacks. So let's see, let's try a cashew first and you can see the sesame seeds on this cashew. There we go. And it smells just like the everything but the bacon seasoning. Mmm. I prefer this one more than the lime chili cashews. But I would say it's quite salty. I would probably put a little bit less everything but bacon seasoning, but this is a really, really good item. I really like that sesame seed with almonds and cashews. It has this like very nice, nutty, bagel-y flavor. It's just so good. So I actually really like this one. I highly recommend this one. And I also think like the fact that it's a little bit saltier than I prefer actually prevents me from eating too much of it. Cause like sometimes when I eat like non-salted almond and cashews, I can just like non-stop eating them forever. So yeah, so this is Really, really good. I actually really recommend this one. So if you like the seasoning flavor, definitely try this out. And I think it's a really good seasoning in combination of the nuts. There we go. Speaking of the seasoning, we ran out of my bottle. 
so we got another one this is what the seasoning looks like look at this it's just so appealing so what's in the ingredient list it has sesame seeds sea salt flakes dried minced garlic dried minced onion black sesame seeds and poppy seeds yes it does contain poppy seeds so if you're taking a drug test just be a little bit mindful of that but i just really 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 like this and usually I'm not a big fan of garlic, but this one is just a perfect, perfect combination. And it's really good for my avocado taste. So yeah, we got another bottle of this. This is the Trader Joe's Lavender Hand Sanitizer. And recently in the US, the, the virus is going crazy. It's always good to be safe and cautious. So I got myself another hand sanitizer. I really like this hand sanitizer spray. It's $2 and it's in the spray form and it smells so good. I know some people are actually a little bit sensitive because it does contain essential oil, but personally I thought it was okay. And every time I used it, it just smells so good and therapeutic and also motivates me to use a little bit more. So this is what the product looks like. This is also my second bottle. They also have like a different flavor, but I like this scent the most. All right, so beverages. I bought several beverages. Also, I noticed that there was a price surge at Trader Joe's. I know inflation is real. Um, so the first one is the Trader Joe's Organic Sparkling Green Tea Beverage with grapefruit and mint flavors. This is the second time I tried this item. It's basically sparkling or carbonated green tea with some flavor from the grapefruit and it's also minty. It's really, really good. And what it does is that sometimes when I have cravings at work, when I want to eat a lot of snacks just because I'm bored or I'm a little bit hungry but not really hungry, I wanted to wait for dinner, this one will actually appetite. For some reason, it just makes me feel a little bit more full. Another reason why I love this one is that it doesn't contain any artificial sweetener because a lot of the uh, unsweetened green tea on the market, they also contain artificial sweetener. But I actually prefer to drink green tea on its own without any sweetness. So this is really, really, really good. So today we're actually going to try a different flavor. So I have tried the green tea sparkling um, beverage with grapefruit and mint on my channel before in one of my previous haul videos. Make sure you check them out. And today we're going to try a different flavor. And this is the Trader Joe's Organic Spark sparkling yerba made beverage with hibiscus and citrus flavors it does contain 60 milligrams of caffeine per serving so i think both of them does contain caffeine but this one's probably a little bit more caffeine i'm really intrigued about flavor because i love that citrus and hibiscus flavor so let's try this out also these drinks are usually better when they served cold so okay let's try this three two one it tastes so good. It actually tastes really good. I can tell it does contain more ca caffeine. I want to say it's a little bit on the bittery side compared to the green tea one. But personally, I am a tea drinker. I don't drink tea with sugar most of the times. So I actually really, really like this one. It has this very strong tea flavor so if you don't like tea without sugar this may not be the one for you but i actually really like this one but just be careful it does contain 60 milligrams of caffeine and you don't want to drink it at night just saying because i can actually taste it it kind of tastes like the black tea like when you drink black tea you can kind of tell compared to like a like a lower caffeine tea so yeah, I think it's a great purchase. I would recommend, but only if you're okay with the bitterness in tea. So we got more green tea and unsweetened golden oolong tea. It, this one used to be 99 cents, but I think now it's like a dollar and 29 cents. It's a huge increase in price. I love oolong tea and I used to drink them all the time in Asia. And I love unsweetened oolong tea especially served cold so i know i used to buy like stock up but now it's like you know prices money they do add up Ta -da! okay i have to be honest i bought this item just because it looks so good it looks so pretty the packaging look at this color this is my favorite combination of color it's pastel it's subtle and it's also classic it has this mystic middle eastern type of look of packaging so this is a trader joe's sipping chocolate flavored cocoa mix inspired by european tradition 
I just have to try this out. So I bought it because my husband loves chocolate and you know, I make hot chocolate for him. So even though I'm a little bit more cautious about sugar, he does drink hot chocolate in winter seasons and it's been really cold in San Antonio. So there are nine servings per container and each serving is 1100. 1100 no 110 calories only 1.5 grams of fat 3 grams of protein 4 grams of dietary fiber which is very interesting and 15 grams of added sugar so see this is what it looks like it's interesting so we're gonna film a clip and test out this ice. Hey guys, so we're gonna try this sipping chocolate flavored cocoa mix from Trader Joe's. Let's open this. So, just chocolate powder is right here. Here we go. Let's see, I spilled some already. I'm not really good with this. Okay, now let's put it in back mess. <laughs> and then some chocolate got into my nose <laughs> oh my gosh just to put in milk so we're gonna put in the milk and microwave all right we'll microwave this and to come back blend it out i think i may have to put too much powder it looks really really strong Okay, let's try this hot chocolate. Is it as good as the chocolate stick? It says it's European tradition. Try it. What do you think? Tastes the same as me. Tastes the same as what? Like the chocolate stick or normal chocolate mix? This one tastes better, like the hot chocolate sticks with like real chocolate to blend in versus the Maybe powder. today this one tastes the same as normal hot chocolate. Which one tastes better, this one or the one that you have right now? Probably that one. This one? Yeah. So this one tastes just like normal hot chocolate. There's mm -hmm. not nothing special. Nothing special. Nothing special. So it's actually pretty good, but I don't think it's stronger or anything. It's just normal hot chocolate. Yep. It tastes good though. It's sweet. You don't need to add more sugar, I feel like. It says you could add sugar, more sugar if you want, but there's like quite a bit of sugar already. So this is pretty good. It's not a bad product, but there's something special about it. But nothing special. Nothing special. This is a very, very long haul. Okay, let's see what's in this bag. The first two items, we're gonna film some dedicated videos, maybe today, to review these. Um, these are some veggie burger items. I'm not vegan, but I try to eat some vegan food. Um, partially because sometimes when I eat too much fat, my stomach hurts, and then I throw up. <laughs> I tried keto, I tried, it, it didn't work. So we're gonna eat some more vegan food. Just sometimes like eating high fat content food makes me nauseous. Okay, so the first one is from the brand Dr. Preggers. And this is a California veggie burgers, which contains five grams of protein. Each burger is 130 calories and 10 um, different types of vegetable. This is what the product looks like. Okay, so this is the first one. I wanted to try because it looks really appealing. So I also looked at the ingredient list. It looks okay. It contains carrots, onions, string beans, old brain, uh, zucchini. It does can contain canola oil, which is, I don't know. I am not a big fan of canola oil, but let's just try it out to see if it tastes good. And I also wanted to try this Trader Joe's high protein veggie burger. I think this one may bounce better with me just because even though I wanted to eat a little, more, a little bit more plant-based, I need that protein intake. And this one, it says it contains like high protein and there are two servings per container and each serving it does contain 26 grams of protein and the whole container has 52 grams of protein. And based on my height and weight, I think as long as I hit that like 60 grams of protein per day, I can probably do like normal functions and maybe add a little bit more as I work out. The sodium intake is a little bit 
The carbs are pretty low. There's no added sugar and nine grams of dietary fiber. So it seems like this will be a good item. And when I look at the ingredient list, it does contain contain canola oil, but it also has like a lot of protein. So we're probably gonna film a dedicated video, like just in case anyone is interested in purchasing this item, but not sure if it's the one for them. So the next item is a meat item. So. The story was, we were in this meat aisle, we were trying to get some meat protein. My channel actually made a dedicated video reviewing the Korean-inspired bulgogi beef stick. And that one we actually grilled outdoor and it tasted amazing. I absolutely love that one. So I wanted to repurchase that one, but my husband was like, let's try a different flavor. So today when we went, I decided to purchase the sesame teriyaki beef skirt steak which contains up to 20% sesame teriyaki sauce. And it says this is USDA choice Angus beef used. So this is what the product looks like. It does contain like sesame sauce. You can see it right here. You can see we'll probably make a dedicated video reviewing this item too. If not, we'll insert a clip. It does contain eight grams of added sugar. I think it's from the sauce, but just taking a look, it looks pretty good. To be honest, like I really like sesame. I like Asian flavor in general, so that's why I really like the Korean inspired bulgogi beef. But we decided to try the sesame teriyaki, so we will give it a try and let you know. Maybe make a dedicated review. Video. Trader Joe's blueberry muffins. Ta da! Trader Joe's actually have different bakery items just rotating. So every time you go, there's some like signature items that you can purchase every single week. But sometimes because of different holiday seasons, different seasons and things like that, they actually rotate from different bakery items. So this one is the blueberry muffins and it looks really appealing. Just look at this blueberries. Yeah, so let's try this out. Classical sweet muffin with a blend of blueberry and sugar topping. So let's try this out. Okay, this guy is super excited. He's been waiting to get into this item. Don't break it. Then give me a... Some. Three, two, one. Ta-da! <gasps> It smells, smells pretty good. good. You smell it. Oh yeah, smells like butter. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Okay, this is what it looks like. Ooh, look at that sugar glaze, guys. Okay, let me take a bite first. It has a lot of sugar on the top. It's Ooh, really nice sweet. It's very moist. But I want to say, I don't like muffins that have too much sugar on the top. There's always sugar on top. I, I know, but like, I felt like this one, there's too much sugar on the top. Okay, you guys, look what's inside. Oh, you can see the blueberry. What do you think of the flavor? It's good. It's got, it's got blueberries. It could have more, but they're pretty, they're good. I would say the texture is really good. But I would prefer it to have more blueberries. Cause it tastes I, better than the HEB version. Really? It doesn't taste better than the Costco version, though. I think Costco tastes Costco better. Costco tastes better. But these are good. Costco muffins definitely taste better, but this one is more moist. Right. Costco, you have way more blueberries, but this one's still real good. This one is less. I feel like the texture is really, really good but the flavor is not as good as Costco. I think Costco, sometimes the muffins from Costco can be a little bit on the drier side, but the flavor- they have, And they're bigger. Yeah, they're bigger and the flavor is better, but this one is good enough. Good enough. I'd rather eat Costco, but this will definitely do. Yeah, but Costco have to buy a, a big container. That's why we never buy them from Costco anymore because we have to share with someone else or else it will go bad. But this one, there are only four, so it's definitely more consumable. So, blueberry muffins from Trader Joe's. Vegetable saute kit from Trader Joe's. The first one is organic shredded green and red cabbage with orange carrots. This one looks really, really good. And I keep repurchasing this one because this one is really, really good for making coleslaw or saute them. And the other one is Trader Joe's broccoli and cauliflower saute kit, which um, has a basil vinaigrette sauce. 
The sauce is so good. Cause sometimes when I saute things, I have to worry about what seasoning to put in there. And that takes me away from the motivation from cooking. And this one, you just put it in there and you put the sauce, I put the whole kit and it tastes so, 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 so good. It also has like some breadcrumbs or something. It adds a lot of texture. Highly, 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 highly recommend the broccoli cauliflower in saute kit. Um, they also have like brown rice saute kit, which I love, and also the noodle saute kit. I love the noodles in there as well. But today I'm just trying to eat like maybe a little bit less carbs and more veggies. So we got two of these kits. Ta da! This is Trader Joe's barbecue teriyaki chicken marinated barbecue chopped dark chicken meat with authentic teriyaki sauce. Ta da! So Brandon really really likes dark meat and previously I think some food that I got are white meat and he's not a big fan but this one is actually dark meat which he loves um it does contain a lot of protein and 10 grams of sugar because the sauce the teriyaki sauce has a ton of sugar but just look at the ingredient list it looks pretty okay it has a boneless skinless chicken leg meat water sugar soy sauce um different types of soy sauce lime juice garlic so it looks pretty pop promising except for the high sugar content but if you want something to taste good you kind of need a little bit of sugar so we're gonna make a dedicated video reviewing this i actually have really high hope because i really like teriyaki sauce so i hope this one tastes good we got two cheese items the first one is the trader joe's sharp cheddar this one tastes really really good for sandwiches and i've purchased like cheddar cheese from different brands and different like you know especially in costco Trader Joe's cheddar cheese tastes way more creamy than the one the brands from Costco. I don't know if I bought the wrong brand from Costco because at Costco there's a variety of selections. So is Trader Joe's too. But I really like the sharp cheddar. I think it tastes so, so good. And it's very thick and strong cheese flavor. I really, really, really preferred this one. I got a old Amsterdam premium aged Gouda cheese. It says it's full flavored hint of butterscotch, smooth texture texture, ripening crystals. It's Gouda cheese 48% fat. Ooh, there we go. It, it is pasteurized milk. There we go. So I love Gouda cheese and pr previously I bought some from Whole Foods and I got hooked again. So but I don't know if this one tastes as good as the one from Whole Foods. I really, really like that one. So we're gonna do a taste test today. So I don't have a cheese cutter. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ooh, I love this texture. I love this texture. Look at this. Yeah. It has a lot of flavor. It does have a hint of butterscotch. Hmm. It's so smooth. It tastes differently from the Gouda cheese from Whole Foods. I would prefer the one from Whole Foods to be honest. But I really like this one too. I love the hint of butterscotch. Hmm, it has a twist to the flavor and it's so smooth. So smooth, you guys. Look at this. Ooh. Yeah, I think this one is totally good. But I do prefer the Whole Foods one because that one is like more similar to the original Gouda cheese that I had in a Dutch family. I first had my Gouda cheese in the Dutch family and I was like, whoa, this cheese is so good. What type of cheese is this? And they were telling me what to get. So I do prefer the Whole Foods one, but this one is totally good because it does have a twist and it's really good aged Gouda. You can taste the age. So yeah, this one is like $7. Carrots of many flavors, many flavors, carrots of many colors. Uh -huh. It just lighted my day when I look at this. So yeah, I was gonna buy the baby carrots, but I think I prefer the regular carrots a little bit more. And I got some yellow squash. When I was checking out, the cashier was like, oh my gosh, these squash are huge. These are huge. I really, really, really like these. So I got some vegetables, fresh and nice. And yeah, there we go. This bag is empty. Kama sticks. I do think like Trader Joe's fruits are a pretty reasonable price. So I got some fruit item from Trader Joe's. Some blackberries. I like to buy some of the small ones just because I take them to work. It's really convenient for the servings. But I also got a big one. I love blackberries. They're not too sweet. It does. It is a little bit tart, but it's not too tart. It depends on 
the batch you got, obviously. Two raspberries. That's it for today's Trader Joe's haul. Thank you so, so much for watching and trying new items with me. If you have any recommendations what to try, what to get from Trader Joe's, definitely comment down below. I would love to try them out. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, don't forget to like this video and also consider subscribing, ring the notification bell, and check out my other Trader Joe's haul um, and Trader Joe's food review videos and Costco haul and food review videos. Some of the items from Costco are also sold in normal grocery stores, which is a smaller package. Alrighty, that's it for today's video thank you so so much for the support first trader joe's haul in 2022 i'm so 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 excited for more content in this channel all right that's it for today i'll see you in my next video bye thanks for watching